Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. It has been a little while, I do apologise, but I do have a valid excuse, I do apologise. Last weekend I unfortunately had COVID-19, so I was quite ill and I couldn't record. I have recovered since, I still do have COVID, but I'm now able to actually record videos. I'm mostly fine. Uh, and yeah, you may be noticing something's quite different. We, of course, run a fresh save file, that's all reset, but also... There's a lot of other differences too. I mean, one of the main ones being we no longer have the full screen mode and that's because we are not using any of the previous mods that we were using in the um, playthrough. We've got a clean slate, complete new wipe and that's because I'm using a completely new mod or at least a newly updated mod called Ultra Mod. This is a mod that came out a long time ago, I think, but it's just recently been updated. I don't know if I've got it all installed correctly, but I'm hoping so. And it's essentially just a, a huge mod that adds a bunch of new areas, bunch of new guns, just a load of new stuff. And I thought, what better way to get back into Nuclear Throne than playing something new? So let's just jump in as fish and see what we can do. There's a bunch of new unlocks, just a lot of new stuff going on. Unfortunately, like I said, we do have the screen size limited, but that's just unfortunately how it's going to have to be because... This mod doesn't really support the other stuff, or at least I couldn't figure out how to do it. Uh, and we can't use this mod with any other mods. This, this mod is a solo thing, so... We are going to try and do what we can, try and unlock whatever characters we can. There's a, quite a few new floors, I've already seen one of them. I've seen quite a few new weapons as well. But so far, I'm really impressed with some really good stuff. One of the big reasons I like to try this out though, for one, just to mix things up, I, I think all of us kind of got to admit that uh, Nuclear Throne was getting a little stale for a lot of us. We were all, um, and it's kind of one of the reasons that the recordings have slowed down. I mentioned it in my previous few episodes. But with this, I think I've, I'm a little bit more reinvigorated to start playing it a little more again, which I'm sure you guys that uh, like the series will be uh, more than happy to hear. Um, and yeah, it's just it's something new, so I thought, why not try it? It's a, it's a good thing to give a go. And as well, our other mod list was getting a touch laggy, so this hopefully fixes that. We've actually got some new mutations here. And we've got one that's like got a green border. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, so we've got Gamma Guts, Scary Vase, we've got Glass Arm Cannon, 25% less enemy HP and minus 2 max HP, Foaming Bolts and Rage. Each kill increases your fire rate, drop rate, and decreases accuracy slightly, resets each time you get hit. Ooh, I will most certainly take that, that sounds very interesting. I don't know what drop rate means, does that mean of like ammo? If that means of like ammo, that's that's real good. Especially considering we're playing fish and we get more ammo anyways. I don't know if there's any way that we can see our rage meter. Of course, we're already using a new gun here. We're using uh, the double gun rather than the triple gun. Um, but you said, oh my god, I fire it. Oh, we got a boss intro there, that was pretty cool. Okay, let's go and get this health real quick. So we did get hit, which obviously reset our, our bonuses. I'll leave you down there for now, sir. This is so cool. I'm really excited. It's just something so new and fresh. Some, something so different. It's... Ooh, that's cool. I, I kind of want to keep the screwdriver, though, because I'd really like to get down to the other floor and... Uh, yeah, let's take scary face. Get down to the other floor and uh, unlock YV. I think that's how you unlock YV anyway, isn't it? With the screwdriver and going into the car. But yeah, I don't know what... The, I don't really know what we have in store for us here. I don't know how many new floors there are, how many new bosses, enemies, whatever. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. And this is going to be what we play, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, because, like I said, everything else... We've kind of seen everything that, that, that they had to offer. Uh, and this this is uh, still in development. It'll get updated as time goes on as well. Uh, there's the jawbreaker again. I need to make sure I'm not getting hit. Mainly because I want to keep my fire rate bonus, not for my health's sake. Obviously, this gun we've got is using double ammo, so we do have to be careful about that. There's the triple machine gun. I'm just going to take with a double for now. And it actually tells us where the last enemy is as well. And poison seems to fade quicker. I think there's just a lot of quality of life changes in general as well. Um, we unlocked Robot. Rabbit's Paw. Uh, trigger Fingers. Open Mind. Last Wish. Strong Spirit. One thing I definitely will miss is all of our mutation mods. We have some very interesting mutation mods. But as, as you can see, we've already got some new mutations in this anyways. Ooh. We've got like, I don't know what, what what exactly to call that enemy. Is it like an elite maybe? It's like an enemy that can shoot through walls. And we've got an invisible guy here as well. I don't know like how many mods this is taking experience from. I don't know if it's like a combination of other mods or if it's just a completely standalone thing. I honestly don't know much about it. I just got a notification on the um, Nuclear Throne subreddit about it about a week or two ago and thought, why not give it a go? Why not try it out? And so far, so good. So far, so good. OK, 
Okay, Jackhammer there as well. I think, is it this stage of the path or is it the next one? I can never remember. Right. Let's keep pushing forward. Okay, so there's our last enemy. So, I, I, unless I accidentally blew it up, I might have accidentally blown it up, I'll be honest. It's very plausible, very plausible I did. Power craving. Every weapon has one random weapon mod. Increase mod max by one. Increase effectiveness of weapon mods. What the hell are weapon mods? <laughs> Let's give it a go, I guess. I don't know what a weapon mod is. I mean, I can obviously assume, but it's completely a, a new a new idea to us. I think I did blow up the car, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember doing it, but I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, I don't know what weapon mods are, and I don't really know how to know which ones I've got on. Oh, wait, there might be some um, stuff from other mods, because this this dude's from uh, another mod, right? Oh my god. The extra drops are very much helping, but I'm still kind of getting pummeled here. Flame pop gun. Ooh, nice. Let's, uh, let's try and see what this guy's got to offer us. Close crown vault. Oh, that's a new way of accessing the crown vault, I think. That's interesting. So maybe we'll use this flame pop gun for a little bit. Keep an eye on the... Yes. Keep an eye on the cars. Just... Just in case. Ow. I, I'm down to one HP now. But I, I'm really liking the no lag. <laughs> that right now is my biggest... Uh, biggest enjoyment of this. But everything else in the mod seems fantastic. I want to try and kill this sniper before anything else. So, that, wet, that little boss intro there is kind of interesting. I kind of hope you can turn those off, because I, I reckon that'll get old pretty fast. But it's, it's, it's good to have it. Also, having the ability to find curse chests without the crown of curse is pretty interesting here. Oh! His death animation was different, too. The frost shotgun. The electro gun. The mini plasma shotgun. Okay. Oh, that's awesome! Okay. I need to see if I can find any secrets. I'm sure there is so many secrets to discover here. So many secrets to discover. Right. Let's go. Um, Alkaline Salava. First hit you take in an area while below max HP heals you instead. I think we're going to take that because that should allow us to um, keep our streak going. Our, like, fire rate bonus, I think. Maybe. Let's see... How good this is. Yeah, that healed us. That's so good. I don't know if that reset our fire rate bonus or what. I'm, I'm really not sure. I'll be honest. I like this. I like this. I'm really liking that last enemy thing. That's so nice. Gatling bazooka. I'm also just loving that there's cursed weapons naturally spawning. That's something completely new to us. And I, I really like that. That's something I feel the base game kind of missed out on. Um... We've unlocked Rebel as well for reaching the Frozen City. Oh, God, we got to deal with Little Hunter, though. Oh, no. Little Hunter's back. So it's actually optimal to not be at full health when entering the next stage. Oh, there's a, some sort of saw blade in there. Okay, so they're kind of like the saw blade enemies. Another thing that's nice is we have to deal with some of the BS custom enemies from some of the mods we previously used. I should really try and swap this weapon out at some point. I've been using it a while now. It, it's very good, but... Ow, that was close. I didn't realize he shielded. But did he leave a shield behind? The Super Director Slugger. I know it's cursed, so it's probably not a great idea to take it, but I, don't, I, I need to know what this does. <laughs> I just have to know. Oh my lord. We're using quite a bit of ammo with that bad boy, but it's quite nice. I reckon that will kill Little Hunter in quite a quick amount of time there. I'm not sure quite what the green border means. I guess I'll grab one of them and see. I don't know if that means it's got like a special bonus. It's, it's Maybe it's like the suggested thing to take or something. Maybe it's like, for this class, you should be taking this sort of thing. I entered the crown vault by accident there. I didn't mean to. But we might have some new crowns. So we'll actually uh, check that out. Also, there might be some new stuff in here. Whoa! The crown thing got a redesign. It's really cool. There's new crowns. <laughs> so we've got our base game ones all the way up until like here. Then we've got crown of difficulty. The difficulty on weapon tier increases more each area. Um, die and be reborn. Higher chance for inverted portals. Do not know what they are. 
Uh, higher drop rates, no rads. Oh, that's really good for late game. Uh, more cursed chests. Remove your secondary weapon when you go through a portal. More chests and slightly more weapon drops. An extra van spawns on each area, purple drop rads. Um, absurd amounts of enemies, almost no rads. <laughs> dance, baby dance, warning flashing lights. And every area is dark, enemies can hit each other. Interesting. Okay, well, we won't take any of those for now. I just wanted to kind of see what they were. I think for our first run, we should try and get a, a throne kill. Getting a throne kill on our first run with a safe bar would be pretty good. Okay. There's little hunter. What the hell's he doing? Okay, he's landed there. <laughs> wow. Oh, he dropped a plasma cannon as well. Oh, and that's uncursed our weapon. Cool. Nice. I'll definitely take a plasma cannon. Got over here. Nice. Why is there a sheep here? What's the sheep about? Is that a sheep? I don't even know. Steroids has been unlocked as well. Awesome. There's a lot of unlocks I don't recognise here because I've it's been a long time since I've actually played this game from the start. Oh my lord. I'm hearing a lot of sheeps. Like a lot of sheeps. What the fuck? Holy fuck this. Okay, some of the weapons in this are pretty nuts and I love it. The ammo is, is a problem. <laughs> I'll say that for sure. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Right, what we got here? Mega laser rifle. Do you want to like stop it? Thank you. And we've got one last enemy over here. So we've got the auto seeker shotgun. Ooh. The toxic cannon, which did hurt me. And the mega laser. Okay, I think I'll take the, uh, the 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 shotgun. I'm a little light on ammo. I don't know the the the, the hyper assault shotgun's pretty fun. I've got to admit. But I'll take this anyways. So let's 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 stick with some new stuff for now. He is the last one. Okay. We're going down with less health, which is good. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think more HP from medkits. What on earth is this? Seemingly a new boss. Okay, we could very easily die here because I do not know what to expect from this boss. I mean, I've killed it. Quadruple flame director shotgun. What the? F <laughs> I'm loving this. This is crazy. What the hell's this? What on earth do we have here? Are we, like, in hell now? I don't know, but I like it. I don't know, but I think I like it. Hyper Gatling Bazooka. Okay. That's just nuts. <laughs> that is just nuts. I like the new floor, though. I don't know if this floor is always going to appear in this area or if it's a random chance. I really don't know. I don't know how the custom floors work in this, uh, in this mod. That's it. We definitely need some more high ammo capacity uh, weapons. This is like a very good weapon, but it is most certainly a uh, purple dragon. It is most certainly not the easiest thing to use. Okay, I don't really know how to deal with this boss. I'll be honest, holy sugar on crackers. Very cool, though. I reckon a few more hits and we've got him. I'm all out of walls, which scares me. I'm slowly but surely running out of ammo, too. Okay, we got him. That wasn't a particularly hard boss, but a very fun one. Um... Ooh, Eagle Eye got, got a buff. Um, better, better, see contents of weapon chests, see further. 
Sure weapon tier, sure damage indicators. Give it a go. It's new. Another new level. Damage indicator shows you damage numbers. That's fucking cool. I might die on this stage. I mean, I, I just think I'm almost... Well, I, I won't even say I think. I'm almost certain I'm going to run out of ammo. I don't think I need to kill the sheep. The sheep seem pretty passive, so maybe not. Um, what the hell's that? It's like a fake portal? Oh, wait, okay, so there's no portal. Oh, maybe, I don't know, okay. Maybe I should go through the fake portal? I don't know. We're testing things out. Is this an enemy? I don't know. I'm loving the damage number from Eagle Eyes. Eagle Eyes has become much better. Holy shit, by the way. There's some nuts stuff going on with these enemies. But I'm fucking loving it. Oh shit, there's a rocket like right on me then that I can see. Is that another new area? Yeah, I just walked into a new area. There's so many new floors, what the hell's going on? Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what the shit's going on? What in the dickens is this? The ghost shovel? What? That's awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. We've got our ultra, which has new ultras. Um... Enemies sometimes drop chests, infinite ammo for the first 10 seconds, get a companion, and increases fire rate depending on your speed. Let's go with the companion, because I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Who's this little fella? Okay, we're in a throne vault here. I don't know if that's on purpose or by accident. I think it's by accident. Do we have to fight the things? What the hell's this? Modify weapon... Modify weapon Kraken. Oh, this is the coolest shit I've ever seen. This is so awesome. I love this. Now, okay, so Buddy seems good. Like, real fucking good. Only problem right now is we don't really have much ammo. So we're going to have to be quite careful. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Right. Interesting to see that damage numbers here. Is this a golden weapon? Super plasma cannon. I think I'll take that. We're picking up a favorable weapon. My god. This is fucking cool. Uh, the throne's very different. My little fella's doing a great job. I think we have iframes now, by the way. I'm not 100% sure on that. It feels like we do. This thing's healthy. Shit. This thing is very healthy. My god. It's still not dead. How? This is crazy. <laughs> I've almost run out of, like, space. Am I meant to die to it the first time, maybe? 
It's very possible that you're, on your first run, you're meant to die to it. It's just, like, it's gonna smush me against the wall pretty soon. It stops firing, okay? No, it has not. Like, there ain't no way I'm surviving this. This is crazy. What the hell's going on? Oh, my di I did it. I got it. I might die by the explosion. Yep. God damn it. So, I did it. I beat a run. <laughs> okay, it does say... I don't know, did I technically win? Because it says great work, but I didn't actually like sit in the throne or go into this portal here. But I did get smushed against a wall, so I feel that's reasonably <laughs> acceptable. Let's go back to the menu and see what's what. I think we unlocked quite a lot there. Oh, damn, we unlocked quite a lot. Okay, so we got um, a lot of new characters. We got Young Cuz, awesome. Uh, we got the Weaponsmith. We got the Doctor. Intriguing. Got a lot of stuff. Either way, uh, I know it's a short episode, but I feel it's a good place to leave this first one for the Ultra Mod. I'm at